I am Anil Kumar. We'll discuss few basic probability concepts with the help of this particular video. Let us start with a type of probability which we call empirical probability. It has other names as experimental or relative frequency probability. The question here is determine empirical probability of rolling a 3 or a 5 with one die, right? So we do have a die here. The purpose is empirical probability is actually experimenting and then finding the ratio of favorable events to the number of trials, correct? So that is how we get empirical probability. Empirical probability, let's say we define event A, which is already defined here, rolling 3 or a 5, right? So we have a standard die here. It could get, you could get 1 to 6 numbers. So those are the total number of outcomes. But when we do experimental probability, we actually work with the die. So that means we have to roll the die and see the number which we are getting. Once we get that number, we have to make a record. And then at the end, we have to see how many of those were in favor of the event we wanted to the total number of trials we did, right? So for doing that, we need to make a table. So let's make a table, okay? So I'll, I'll just make a table. Uh, let us do it on the right side. Okay, so this is the table. So what I will do here is that I'll just roll the die and see whether we get three or five or not. What we can do also is or we can actually just write down the number we get, right? And then at the end, we'll calculate the empirical probability. So let's begin. So I'll just roll a few times. One, we get five, okay? Then let me roll again. We get again five. So I have to shake well to roll. This time, well, again five. Come on. Let's do it again. We get a number, which is one. So that is the fourth trial. This time again one. The fifth one again gave us one. Okay, so now we get five. Good job. And uh, then we get one. Okay, and this time let me do it again. Six. Fine. Uh, one more time. Four. Okay, and let's say this is our last time. Okay, so six again. Good job. Now we have rolled it. 10 times. So total number of trials here is 10. So we'll say number of trials was 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10. And what is our event? What we really wanted to see is to determine empirical probability of rolling 3 or a 5. So we have two choices, 3 or a 5. Fortunately, we got some fives. So let me circle those fives. So these are the ones which we got, right? One, two, three, and one, four. So we will say that when we did this trial, then the success was four times, right? So that is the success which called or number of times the event actually happened, right? So we can call this as uh, success you can say right success is four times out of ten trials you get the idea right so this probability of the particular event of getting three or a five is number of times number of times we got three or five number of times we can say it was a success, right? Two, we can say total number of trials, right? So in this case, we got success of four out of 10, and therefore the probability, it could be written as, we could simplify two out of five, correct? So that is the probability we got. So as you will see in most of the cases, 
probability has to be a number between 0 to 1, both included. You could write them as a fraction. You could write them as, as decimal. So it could be 2 divided by 5 written in decimals, which is, we could write this as 0 0.4, or we could also write this as a percent times 100, or which is 40 percent. So in our case, we got a probability of rolling of 3 or a 5 as 40 percent. You will note in this particular case that the empirical probability or sometimes as we call experimental or relative frequency probability is very different from what theoretical probability will be. If you were doing a case of theoretical we know there are two numbers, three or five, two possibilities out of six. The result would be two out of six. Well, at times, if you continue this experiment for larger number of trials, so if you have larger number of trials, then what we see is that the results of empirical probability do approach or they are very close to those of theoretical probability right so that is what we have normally seen right you can perform this experiment and see what result you get so here important thing to understand is that experimental probability is basically ratio of success over total number of trials. Here we are not using the number of sample spaces. Do you understand? There are six possible numbers on this dice, but we are not using that number. We are only making a table. It's kind of a frequency table and we are saying how many times was it favorable out of total and therefore the name frequency probability is also sometimes given to us so let me write down both of the names here the one is experimental probability and the other one is relative frequency So at times we may use instead of empirical probability the names experimental probability or relative frequency probability. I hope this experiment helps you to understand how in different ways we can find probability. I'm Adil Kumar. You can subscribe and share my videos. Thank you and all the best.